Thank you. Thank you everyone who's here in attendance and also anyone who is viewing online. My name is Mr. Dylan Meza. An issue has come up and it's been brought to the attention of me and my team and we have decided that we're going to finally address it. I am of course talking about an issue that has been plaguing our planet. I am of course talking about the chicken sandwich wars. It began on August 12, 2019. Now the issue and the conflict didn't start that day, but Popeyes introduced a fried chicken sandwich to their menu. They introduced a brand new chicken sandwich, more meat, better flavor than any other sandwich that they had ever done before. And they had pretty much made known that they were ready for a new form of warfare. Chick-fil-A quickly responded with a tweet. In their tweet they said their fried chicken sandwich predated the Popeyes fried chicken sandwich. Of course Popeyes took this as an act of war and they decided that it was time. The two actually went back and forth on the internet and many other people got involved and quickly the Popeyes chicken sandwich was not only a marketing success but it was a success for what it was. Many people who have never tried Popeyes before decided that they were going to go to the restaurants and try the chain out. They drove to many different parts of town that they had never driven to before and they were trying to get just their hands on a chicken sandwich with a Louisiana spice that they had never tried before. Popeyes released two chicken sandwiches. They released a regular original chicken sandwich and they also released a spicy chicken sandwich that had a cannoli. Well, you need to remember that. It did have a cannoli. The Popeyes frenzy in 2019 actually caused the franchise to have a peak of sales. Restaurants that had already had long lines, they had doubled if not tripled around their franchises. Many curious brave souls drove up to the lines to volunteer 30 minutes to even an hour, maybe even two, just to try and enlist in an order of the new chicken sandwich. Because of popular demand and the infrastructure of the Popeye's restaurants and logistics of their supply chains, many patient customers had to leave line before they could even order. Or even worse, supplies at the Popeye's franchises did not actually have enough chicken to serve those sandwiches. Many people drove far and wide to a new restaurant that they had never tried and would leave sadly empty-handed because, let's face it, these young millennials and Gen Zers who had had been faithful to Chick-fil-A sandwiches or to McDonald's 20-piece chicken nuggets had never had a delicious season. Louisiana-inspired whole-piece chicken part before served to them in a box. Nor had their parents had put the guts to tell their children that they had to eat what was cooked in front of them. This could have been a war between two franchises, but unfortunately the consequences of this war drove other restaurants to get involved. In 2019, of course, Popeyes introduced their chicken sandwich, but I'm going to list a few. There were very more, very, very more. Uh, just in fast food, May 2020, Golden Chicken Big and Golden. Uh, May 2020, KFC, Fat Burger King's Hawaiian Crispy Chicken Sandwich, which introduced 2020. October 2020, Church's Chicken. October 2020, Zaxby's introduced their chicken sandwich. January 21, Carl's Jr. and Sonic Chicken Slinger was introduced. And in February 2021, McDonald's and Burger King both introduced their own chicken sandwiches. Other big known restaurants that were not even fast food, but were actually in this war brought in that they felt like it was their time to be put into the war. Buffalo Wild Wings and Wingstop, actual Buffalo wing places felt like they needed to get into the war so that they would not be left in the masses and be left out on the market share. Popeye's chicken sandwich was actually not just any old chicken sandwich. It was actually a good chicken sandwich. It was not a a sandwich that you would go to to actually just give to somebody who didn't like the main pieces and main items on the menu. This sandwich was actually delectable. Uh, something that Chick-fil-A differentiated before the, the chicken sandwich wars was that their main staple was a chicken sandwich. It was not tenders, it was not pieces of the chicken. It wasn't burgers. 
So the matter of the fact was Popeyes had now not only introduces a new menu item, but it was a menu item that actually brought in customers that came just for the item that was now promoted. Because Popeyes has been successful, the consequences have gone far beyond the two restaurants and the other restaurants that have come into the war. There are new people who have been in this war. Many people who have had the chance to eat Popeye's chicken sandwiches have had their many different opinions about the sandwiches. Some were previous fans of Chick-fil-A, some were previous fans of Popeye's regular spicy and black and chicken pieces. There came the issue of what is social media saying, what is the community saying. Many people have had to pretty much pick a side in a war that they did not feel like they started. Some people honestly love the Popeye's chicken sandwich so much that they decided I'm now a customer of Popeye's not Chick-fil-A and rightfully so they can do so. Some people chose not to like the Popeye's chicken sandwich and they chose to stay with Chick-fil-A. They had a right to do so. Some people chose to try the other chicken sandwiches that have been brought into the market and yes many have come out but many have not been as good. Many have been very different, but the issue is now the chicken sandwich is so well promoted, it has been cost effective for the new people who want to get in. They have brought the prices down on theirs to get a market share, and many people are now hooked on chicken. The population of cows may even be going up. Who knows? Did you check? I didn't. Some people had actually already been fans of Louisiana's Louisiana style chicken before these wars, but many have tried the chicken sandwich and had to ask themselves did they even like the new product on the menu. Like I said before, people have been switching sides from Chick-fil-A to Popeyes for this sandwich because the sandwich is so unique to the Chick-fil-A sandwich. However, it does not change the fact that it is a sandwich and not traditional pieces of the chicken. What I'm saying is some people have a desire to eat a more authentic piece of fried chicken than a piece that is put onto bread. Also, the chicken sandwiches at Louisiana are both Louisiana inspired and Cajun inspired to an extent. The cannoli that is on the spicy chicken sandwich has actually caused some people to wonder if I don't like this sandwich because I don't like the cannoli, do I not like Popeyes? Am I not a fan of Popeyes anymore? Liking the chicken sandwich has become an even bigger question for some people than the actual restaurant itself. If you do not like the sandwich, do you even like the restaurant? And now we have to ask that not just about Popeyes, but about all restaurants that have been included in this war. The consequences of this war have gone beyond the sandwich itself and beyond the issue of the sandwich. Many different things have gone into factor. Families have been torn, not being able to decide where to go. Many have been displaced. Ah, oh, separation? It's not enough to say that. Even going behind each other's back and risking financial stability to go in the middle of the night and get a delicious Popeye's chicken sandwich has been reported, possibly. And you know what? It's not enough. There are people who choose the Popeye's chicken sandwich over actually choosing Popeye's itself. The question now going forward is Popeye's to change. They probably will say no. But do we even know for sure? Because this sandwich has actually changed the world so much. It's been talked about all over the world already. Another consequence that has came up is now that because of market share and all these different people have gone to the Popeyes franchises, many Popeyes locations have closed down for many months and had to relocate, creating new locations that could handle more customers. They've innovated their technology. They even now have both Coke and Coke Zero at some locations. Many people are now having to discuss whether or not Popeyes is actually in a dangerous war zone or if now it's just worth going there. Many Popeyes locations were not in areas deemed safe for many of the people who traveled to Chick-fil-A. However, you know who you are. Many of them now made the journey and because the new franchises are opening, they're now able to open into areas that are more bougie. Many people are now trying Popeyes more than ever. 
but many people are not trying the Popeyes that many grew up knowing and believing in. They are trying a Popeyes that is now trying to cater to the man or woman who is trying to eat chicken sandwiches. Chicken sandwiches may be chicken and they may have chicken in them, but they are not classified as chicken pieces and that four, they are not the same people. I'm all for inclusion, but I need a place where I can eat my chicken pieces in peace. Thank you. Thank you everyone for watching.